and Brightbeam and Kay Brasho are still leading it. Welsh Passion is close in behind them on the inside. Mill Reef moving smoothly up on the outside of the field together with Cairo. Two and a half furlongs to go and Mill Reef has come through to take it up with Cairo pressing him on this side. As they pass the two furlong marker, it's Mill Reef and Cairo coming away with Keyside in third place, followed by Welsh Pageant. The two pacemakers have dropped out of it. And with a furlong and a half to go, it's Mill Reef from Cairo. Mill Reef definitely clear of Cairo with just over a furlong to go. A long way back in third place, Keyside, followed by Welsh Pageant. 150 yards to go, and it's Mill Reef coming away in magnificent style. Well clear of Cairo in second place. A good race for third place as they come up to the line. Mill Reef the winner, Cairo second, Welsh Pageant third, and Keyside fourth. A magnificent win by Mill Reef. Five or six lengths, I would think, clear of Cairo in second place, Welsh Pageant third, and Keyside fourth. And nobody can say we haven't got a good Derby winner this year. Let's have another look. I'm sure John Lawrence will love to go through the replay of this. We'll join him. He doesn't just beat the Frenchman, he murders him. He leaves him standing from that point, and away he goes, quickening even again now. What a tremendous performance, a really marvellous performance by the Derby winner, Mill Reef. And Jeff Lewis being clapped all the way up. You don't often hear this. He'll get a he'll get great a great reception when he gets to the winner's enclosure. But you don't often hear a horse clapped all the way up the walk here at the back of the stands. I'm not sure that I've ever heard it before. Perhaps I did with Arkle or Millhouse in the in the wet bread. I'm not sure, but I don't think I've ever heard a flat race winner clapped as he went up behind the stands here long before he got to the unsatting enclosure. This is really. Uh, a heartwarming reception. Yes, Isn't it lovely. Wasn't that lovely? I do hope Mill Reef thoroughly understands what it's all about. I think he does, don't you?